Hello folks, welcome back to Let's Play Uncharted Waters, New Horizons for the PC. Heaven's Frogman here, and I decided to start this video off in Malacca. For one thing, you get to hear the rather interesting Southeast Asian music, which is used for all the Spice Islands areas. And I'll, I'll show you where this is on the, on the world map here. So we're just going to swing around the southern tip of the, this peninsula here, and we're just going to continue east along the main shore, shoreline of the mainland here, around through China and stuff. Okay, so I figure I'll, uh, sh I'll show you the trading post here at least. Now we can't, I can't buy any goods because I don't have any space in my hold because I've already resupplied and stuff. But I will show you the, what they sell here. Anything under sells that is what's it's what's sold here. So these so this port sells cinnamon, pepper, and ginger for spices. So this is a pretty good place to go if you ever need to. Well, like I said before, fill your spice rack and, but more importantly, um, find find good spices, good inexpensive goods to tr make good profits in in Europe. Okay, so I'm going to show you the House of Fortune here. Okay, so if we ask her about life, she'll tell you the basic levels of our luck, and this is one of the better re luck readings you can get in the game. I think there's only like one or two more better readings. And career, she'll tell you how many points you need to advance your skill levels. I'm not sure what the hell that's supposed to mean because I've already attained the max rank. Maybe it should just mean my my my, my, my rank in adventure. Love just tells you how well you can get on with the waitress at this port. And there is actually a waitress in this port, so I'm gonna sh I'm gonna take you guys to meet her soon. And um, we can actually have her tell the luck and loyalty of our mate. So let's just pick our let's pick Miguel. Okay. Yeah, the longer they stay with you, and the longer they're in a they're in an actual position in your fleet, then the longer they'll um then the quicker they'll get loyal to you. And if they're loyal to you, that means they won't demand raises every time you want to try to leave port or try to steal your ships whenever you go into battle. But anyway, there is a waitress here, so let's go meet her. Rukia is our busiest waitress. You'll have to tip her to 10 gold pieces first. Okay. Fine. Now, waitresses can get are your best, one of your best sources of information, like I've said before. Now, there are three ways to get her to like you, and each waitress is receptive to a specific one. Sometimes you can tell her sto tell the waitress stories about things you've discovered. So let's tell her about... Let's tell her about the Khufu Pyramids. Okay, yeah, she says it's exciting, but she'll see something more elaborate when it's actually affecting her, loyal her loyalty towards you. So, let's try giving her something else. Let's give her an accessory. Okay, so that didn't exactly st um, stick with her either. Okay, so let's give her this mermaid bangle. Yeah, when they when they're receptive to something you do for them, they get um they they get a little more descriptive behind. Oh, I'm so happy. So this woman obviously loves treasure. So the more treasure we give her, the more um, she'll fall in love with us, and the more receptive she'll be to um giving us information, like for guild missions or about specific fleets or whatnot, but I'm not going to bother giving her any more treasure because I'm not going to be passing by here very often, so I'm not going to be... yeah. Yeah, that, um, that bangle obviously didn't stick very well with her. Well, well, I don't generally bother with, uh, treasure-loving waitresses anyway, they're just... well, they're just gold-digging traps, what can I say? 
Plus, there are, there are actually some waitresses that are, that are receptive to everything. So, try to, try to um, use the ones that like stories or are receptive to everything. That is actually what treasures and um, accessories are for, for giving to waitresses. But, it's generally more productive to just sell the bloody things and get, and get out of your life. Okay, so we're just going to continue to explore this, um, go around the mainland here. And eventually we shall get to China. Which at the, which at the time was actually one of the holy grails of, uh, seamanship and travel back in, back in Europe, back around this time. And we found a village. Yay, us. Now will you go ashore? Thank you. Yo, I row the boat ashore. Hallelujah. Okay, I think you have to increase this village's French up to 20, if I remember correctly, so let's just do that. And what do we have here? Ah, the anchor one. Very nice. Let's go, everybody. There's so much more waiting for us out there. What real man can, was, can truly withstand the lore of adventure and fame and glory, huh? You better explore this. Ah, Hanoi! Who are you allied with, by the way? Ah, Turkey. Hmm. I have to admit, I'm a little surprised that Turkey's decided to extend their reach way out here, but... Whatever. It's, it's okay. But yeah, we're starting to get very close to the um, the furthest reach of our travels for now because, unfortunately, we can't discover the ports in Japan yet because they're part of a storyline uh, mechanic. Ah, Macau, there we go. Now we're getting into China. But we're actually going to hold out for a port named Zaitong. If I remember correctly, I th uh, I think they actually buy metals for a really good price, like the gold that we have here, and there we go. And besides, we need a higher economy port to help our, help us recover our crew members. And I'll just use the go ashore command for a change to enter a port. Alright, fine, so I hit it by mistake. Does anybody actually care? Okay, so welcome to the Far East, everybody. Yay! We made it to China! Marco Polo will be so proud. Okay, so let's see what they're selling in here, huh? Yeah, you can buy silk for, for really cheap here. You can buy ginger here too, but if you want to buy ginger, you may as well just go back to the Spice Islands and buy it there for two gold pieces a pot. So let's see how much they'll pay for my gold. Yeah, they pay really good prices for gold here. So I'm going to have to decide if I want to sell that gold. And uh, maybe bring back some silk or something. Yeah, it's the largest trading port in China. As you can definitely tell by the economy and the industry ratings here. And to end off the video, why don't we go to the inn and see what... See who this port's allied with. 
Because I think I might, may actually invest in here. That's the bank, the guild. Ah, there's the inn. Oh, it's Ally with the Dutch. Okay, folks, uh, I, guess, I guess that's about it. I uh, hope you all enjoyed the video. And hopefully in the next video we'll be heading back to Massawat to help defend it against the Turks. So, this is Heaven's Frogman, and I hope you all enjoyed the video. Peace out, everybody.